James Hergott, Radical Body Transformations, and it's showtime. We are at the MABA Provincials. Uh, this is a big deal. This is game day. We've got a lot of people competing in this show. We have people that have been working all year round to get ready for this show. And we have people that competed in the novice show to qualify for this. We follow their stories. Some of them made it through and are now continuing on to this. So this is a big day for these people. Um, you know, some of these people have literally eat, sleep, slept, trained with one thought in mind and that is winning this show. Uh, we have such a fantastic group of women that are going to be competing and uh, a lot of them are in the same class. There's the potential here that some of these girls will be competing against each other and, um, and th they're friends. So it's going to be a whole interesting dynamic. We're going to show you all of the backstage action, you know, the onstage drama and everything that happens. And you know, this is the real deal. So there's the thrill of victory, there's the agony of defeat. And uh, believe me, you know, a lot of people that compete here, they say trophies don't matter. Believe me, every single girl that competes in here wants one of these, whether they want to admit it or not. And when they get it, man, they're on cloud nine. If they don't get it, it hurts because, you know, they think about the time they took away from their family. They think about the time that they ate egg whites and fish and everything, every single meal, and didn't go out and socialize and all this stuff just to prepare for this day. So a lot is on the line and it's gonna be really interesting how this plays out. So check this out. Three or four years ago, I sat at 270 pounds okay. of solid fat. <laughs> solid fat. Yes. And, you know, I think when people mm -hmm. might meet you for the first time or see you, I think it's going to be hard for them to wrap their minds around that and envision that. Mm -hmm. But I think it's important to show this because we have a lot of people that are part of the show who are heavier that are embarking on a journey that you've already taken. Yes. So uh, let's start with what was it when you were in this kind of condition that first sparked your motivation to get into better shape? It was uh, motivation, I'm not too sure. I was, I was very stagnant in the way that I was uh, in my day-to-day -day activities, but I had gone for an annual checkup mm -hmm. with my doctor and she, I did my blood work, I did all the work that she needed me to do and she left the office and uh, she called me back a couple of days later and asked me to come back into the office and when that happens you know very well that it's not, it's not a good thing. Um, so I went back for my follow up and the news was, the news was scary. I was, 20, I was 31 years old and she had said I was borderline diabetic, I had high blood pressure, my cholesterol was high, I found fatty uh, deposits in my liver, um, I had slipped my discs. So I had uh, back problems and knee problems and I was still fairly young with two kids. And uh, she said, you know what, Susan, I've given you all the tools that I could. Now it's up to you. Like if you want to change, you have to change now. If you don't, you're not going to see your kids get married. It's 